Welcome back. So first job of the week was to fix up the redrive and what ended up happening on uh, Friday evening there was the stake washer that locks the stake nut into place had basically sheared off the little inside teeth um, and that's basically allowed it to come loose. So anyway, pulled it apart. That's what it looks like there and there's the internal teeth on the inside of that ring that are gone, two of them. Um, anyway, so I decided to um, see if I could make it myself because last time we had it machined by a shop and uh, so I got some stainless steel that we had laying around, uh, about 40 thou thick, and uh, started cutting it out. So this is what it looks like with the outside ring cut. And here I'm starting with the inside ring. So there's uh, two different little teeth on this that made up to the prop shaft. And those are the ones that keep it locked in place. And then the other teeth there bend up around um, the cutouts in the uh, stake nut itself. So that's what it looks like uh, after machining the whole thing. And it didn't take that long. So this one being a bit thicker should last a bit better and uh, again it's just temporarily because uh, we were you know, getting rid of this drive but I still wanted to keep the engine running and have the prop on there so I could do more testing um, in between now and when we get the new uh, redrive back. So anyway, that's half done. And meanwhile Jeff and Devin and uh, Zach were cutting core and material again for these uh, wing skins. So as you can see there's a quarter inch core there in blue that's been cut now and uh, positioned in place just you know just dry fitting everything so that one's almost ready to lay up and he's, they're working on uh, the other ones there as well so there's another upper skin there and a lower skin so pretty much just trying to get all the materials uh, laid out on these things so they're ready to lay up and here you can see I got the drive back together and all the bearings re-greased and everything and got the nut back on there and the washer I haven't locked it into place just yet because um, I got sidetracked with other stuff to do but anyway I just set that uh, cover on there to protect it from dust and stuff while uh, I get it done anyway I've only got about a half an hour of work to do on that and we can put it back together back on the engine stand and this is Tuesday now so um, here's the guys uh, laying up the first of the wing skins so this is one of the upper skins and um, I guess Jeff decided to go with the more difficult one first because it has that you know curved over leading edge um, anyway, they've got the first layer, or actually, yeah, that layer of biax down that you saw um, in the previous video that was getting cut, and just getting that all smoothed out and in position uh, before laying in the core. And you can see he's got his marks there for where the different uh, core edges are. And here you can see Keith and uh, Devin are wetting down the core pieces there with a mixture of uh, resin and cabocil in order to get um, good sort of penetration of the resin there through the, the porous parts of the core there and I, th I believe that core is a little bit perforated as well in places to allow it to bond nicely to both the inner and outer uh, skin layups there with the carbon of the carbon fiber biax and over the weekend I got the FEA stuff back from Mark for the four plane so finally I had the final dimensions for the thicknesses for um, the skins for the four plane and also for um, the spars as well so I was able to put those into the CAD and get the final dimensions of what the ribs are going to look like so it's time to actually start cutting the blanks for that it's been something we've been waiting to do for a while and these are going to be the last things that, that, that are going to need moulds made from them um, but anyway so cutting them out of MDF just using the 3 8 inch um, bit there so starting out and here you can see uh, Jeff's got most of the core pieces in place. Uh, just one more bit to go there, up there at the root end. And uh, then he's going to actually bag that and um, get it under vacuum and then finish the layup tomorrow. Um, the reason being because of the fast uh, curing hardener, it just doesn't have enough time for us to do the inside layer as well. And here Keith is just wetting down the last part of the core for that one, uh, just to get it all finished out. And meanwhile Jim and Jeremy have got the other door on the fuselage now and they're just starting to work through uh, each of the latches and make sure everything's uh, operating nicely. And now I'm onto the third rib and there's about 22 that need to be done altogether between you know the lefts and the rights. So um, take a little while to do each one and they're all different sizes and some different shapes. But anyway, the guys are already on there a little bit, little bit later. I've got more of them done now. So they're sanding them down and then they get a coat of resin to seal them in. So that's what's happening here. 
and then uh, once they're sealed like that then they can be primed and then um, and then sanded and ready to actually pull the mold and here's that uh, layup now and uh, it's got the peel ply down the um, perf film and then the breather fabric there and it's just about ready or it is ready there just to have the bag put on and uh, put under the vacuum so that's the first um, of the wing skins now first upper skin so it's pretty good to get that one underway and uh, tomorrow that one will probably get finished out so here it is with the bag in place now and as you can see there's different the different uh, thicknesses there where the core is and where the ribs are uh, well, sorry where the spars are going to be so and uh, didn't have any problem getting that under the bag nice nice uh, seal on that one and this is a bag where you actually Jeff had to make it out sort of two bags into one bag because of how long that was there so there's a, se a seam across the middle there near where he is that's uh, keeping it all sealed up there um, but no real problems on there and it's as you can see it's sort of pulling in nicely on where the leading edge is there so that's the first one of those down and uh, more to come there but it's exciting getting onto the wings anyway that's our update for the first half of this week and um, thanks again for watching and then tune in again on Saturday and see what we get up to